Salute, salute, salute. Bow, what it is, what it do, what's happening. This is Nocturnal Thoughts with a real quick video. Then I'm gonna get out the way. Um, my thoughts on Keyshawn Davis victory last night over Lemo, Lemos. Um, I thought that, you know, that was a great performance homecoming fight and um you know he got a, a chance an opportunity to display his talent and he didn't let down his his um his fans and his family in his hometown uh we've seen fighters have hometown homecoming fights and um it didn't go their way like um uh, an example that comes to my mind is uh swift Herod when he fought against um, J-Rock for his homecoming fight and he just got outclassed and outboxed um, but you know in this case Keyshawn Davis had a spectacular showcase and um, knocked out his guy in two rounds and uh, we all know the story dude came in overweight he might have had a little bit I think maybe a, a little bit of a rehydration clause uh, to where he did have to make a certain weight before he could come and fight in the ring but you know he was over the weight limit about six pounds so you know it's to me that's kind of even steven you know you're putting yourself in an advantage trying to manipulate the scales and things of that nature uh but whatever his tactic was it did not work he was defeated and Keyshawn davis put on a spectacular performance uh, entertaining it was a decent turnout as far as sold out like whatever 10,000 uh, seats put his family on put his brothers on things of that nature all of that I feel like I salute I think it's dope you know what I'm saying um, and of course whenever in boxing whenever you put on a good performance the very next question is what's next what you gonna do next first I think you know him having his his uh, after party and celebration and reaping his reward of all the hard work he's been putting in i give him i think he needs time to go ahead and soak that in you know what i'm saying uh he he's been an advocate for you know dealing with like mental health and mental health is 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 um goes both ways like I mean, depression can attack you when you up and can attack you when you down so really it's, it's being going up going up higher heights if you're not cautious, can be like lower lows when you get depressed. So I, I feel like, uh, you know, he should have goals set in mind, but also learn how to, you know, appreciate this moment, seize the moment and appreciate it because everybody don't get opportunity or everybody don't get to take advantage of the opportunity to live out a dream like that. And I think he just get, got a lot closer to a dream and made a dream come true. And um, that's to me, that's what it's all about. It's about insp inspiring other people and, and uh, not wasting your talent uh, and, and displaying your, your hard work and reaping the rewards and living life and appreciating life to the fullest. And that's that's what he did. So I give him his credit and his props and I salute him for that. And then uh, moving forward, of course, everybody is talking about uh, Javante Tank Davis, Javante Tank Davis. I think that would be a great fight. Uh, I think... Keyshawn Davis said he he feel like he still need to do a little bit more work also so when he comes to the table he got a little bit more leverage to bargain negotiating wise as far as being a champion and being a bigger draw and being able to you know what I'm saying carry weight and bring something to the table when he sit down to the table with Javante Tank Davis but at the same time skill wise his skill wise and the potential of showing you know that he got all the tangibles, uh, you know what I'm saying? The IQ and the athleticism and the power and the speed and the reflexes, uh, the charisma and all of that, you know, that is that show that is showing to prove that he's already at that level, you know, surpassed maybe even some of Javante Tank Davis's previous opponents, you know what I mean? So uh, people want to see that fight. People are clamoring for that fight. Me for one, I feel like, I hope that if it's, I hope that Javante Tank Davis would get in the ring with a Keyshawn Davis. I think that would be a spectacular fight. Um, and I 
think it would, you know, it will check all the boxes of what makes boxing a great sport. You know what I mean? So I know it's, it's, it's a lot more to it than that. I know it, it'll be a lot of obstacles that, that'll be in the way for a fight like that to manifest. So like, I just, it's hard for me to see, see that coming to, uh, I just don't see them on the path to co collision course to, to fight each other. But you know, we could possibly redirect and detour, get put them on the detour route to where they do cross paths and have to fight each other. I, I feel like it'd be a good fight, entertaining fight. You know, I, I just think, you know, it has um, the potential to, to be a performance that a lot of fans need from Javante Tank Davis and also for Keyshawn Davis stepping up and getting to that pinnacle of the sport. So in conclusion, uh, my props go to Keyshawn Davis, salute to him. And uh, as far as I'm fighting Javante Tank Davis in the near future, I'm I'm cool with you know promoting that type of a fight. I think that'd be dope. As far as who I think will win, it depends on everything leading up to it. Those are my thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Salute.